A viewer wrote to me saying she was having a hard time finding her polling location here in LA County. So I googled find my polling place in LA County and I was brought to a page on the LA County Registrar's website. When I put in my address, Sure enough, a message popped up saying, please check back closer to your election date. There are no active elections for this address at this time. Turns out that's an old link and LA County actually wants you to come here to lavote.net. It's a one-stop shop for all things election. You can find out where your polling place is by clicking my election information. You can also check your registration status, track your vote by mail ballot, and find a drop box for your ballot. The registrar also launched a new feature this election at plan.lavote.net. The interactive tool takes you all the way through the voting process, from checking your voter registration to learning how you can vote and where you can vote safely. There's a lot of uncertainty in this election. Election expert and Loyola Law School professor Justin Levitt says voter distrust is likely at an all-time high, but he says it shouldn't be that way. There's no reason to think that anything other than the voters' preferences is going to determine who wins the presidential election this fall. Levitt says voters can take three steps to make sure their vote counts. Check your registration. It's possible to check online, it's possible to fix online, and there are safeguards to make sure only you are the one doing the checking and the fixing. Make a plan. Do you want to vote by mail? Do you want to vote in person? And vote early. Ballots are already out. Most voters in California will already have gotten one by mail. And you can choose to fill that out and return it today. You can choose to take it to a drop box. You can choose to take it to a polling place. Early voting is already open at the LA County Registrar's headquarters in Norwalk. And that glitch where I Googled LA County polling spots and came up short, well, we notified the Registrar's office. They have since fixed it, and you'll now be redirected to the right webpage. Christine Lazar, CBS2 News.